Hello sports fans, welcome to RV with Luck. I'm Ralph Luck. And it's a little windy and chilly right now on Route 66. I believe it's about uh, 50 degrees. It's gonna get up to, I think, 62 today. So it'll be a nice day, but it's uh, still late morning, a little windy. But we're at a new spot. I'm gonna be hitting a couple of spots along the way as we travel from Kingman to Seligman, which is north and east on old Route 66. So uh, let's get into this first one. So I kid you not, the name of this place is Gigantus Hedicus, home of the giant head. <laughs> but let's take a look at this old cop car from Radiator Springs Police Department. Aiming to defend milepost 115 on Route 66. That is pretty interesting. There are apparently places to stay here, or maybe they're permanent homes. <laughs> Signs that does say resident parking only. Oh man, look at that old school VW bug there. So here we are. Let me show you before we go inside why they call it the uh, home of Giganticus Hedicus. There. And apparently this is the reason why. Look at that giant head. Get in a little closer over here for you. There's another cool cop car over here. There she blows. Bet. And here's what I'm loving over here. Herbie the Love Bug. If you don't know about Herbie the Love Bug, you gotta go watch or Google it. Watch the movie. In case you need to make a phone call. And if you wanted to introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Serena and I am the manager of the Route 66 store here. Um, a volunteer, I guess you would say. So, <laughs> but yeah, Greg Arnold is uh, the one who made the Route 66 uh, signs right there that you see. Handmade on Route 66, all signed by him. A lot of our stuff in here is custom made. Um, a lot of the things we carry you can't get in other stores around here. So we try to keep our stuff uh, Unique, pretty interesting one. He makes a lot of the, we design a lot of our own mugs, our magnets, some of our patches and stickers we do them ourselves. So take a look around. Absolutely. Not appropriate for young children. No. <laughs> <laughs> yep, and we're gonna have a whole line of Betty Boop uh, products pretty soon. I'm getting my kicks now. So if you're along Route 66, you got to check out Gigantus Hedicus and come in the store. Lots of cool stuff. So goodbye, Gigantus. Hedicus, really cool souvenir shop. And apparently the gentleman that made the giant head also made the giant Wonder Woman. Now we're at the Hackberry General Store. And there's supposed to be a lot of old stuff. If you walk up that away, 
like Andy Griffith's uh, Sheriff Taylor's old car. Just to prove to you, yes, we are still on Route 66. I think these were still operational when I was born. See, there you go, Hackberry General Store. Excuse me, ma'am, is the store open? <laughs> If you want nostalgia and anything Route 66, I think this is the place to go. Ten signs, look at that. Oh, these signs are so cool. Only eighteen dollars. Oh my gosh, it's a good deal. Oh my goodness. You want to find a license plate from anywhere? Oh my gosh. Gotta love the old Coke machine. And look at that cat. I thought it was fake at first. Six souvenirs. That's called the old soda shop. Oh my gosh, every Route 66 hat. I think I gotta get one. T-shirts, T-shirts, T-shirts. Oh my goodness. All right, I picked out my hat. I think it's time to head out. All right, got my hat. Woo -hoo. It's like I'm a real boy now. Hey, let's head off to the next stop. I don't think you could get any more souvenirs at this place. As a native Arizonan, I never knew this shop was even here. This general store. If you're on 66, you've got to come by and check it out. 
Stay tuned for part two of the Route 66 tour coming in tomorrow.